Uh, is coffee unhealthy? Do we all drink coffee here? Do we drink coffee? Do we drink coffee? Yeah? So this plus is a minus for coffee. So the active ingredient is caffeine, and it's a psychoactive substance. Um, it may enhance brain function because it stops the melatonin, the sleeping hormones. It may help you boost your mood. Um, and some studies have shown it may protect your brain. In one study, it showed like a 65% less risk of getting Alzheimer's. Um, and it may lower the risk of depression. A study found that it 20% lower risk of depression. However, it could disrupt sleep. As I said, it stops melatonin. And it actually has a 12-hour effect on the body. So we should, we should we should only have it in the morning, really, because it will affect your sleep, your quality and quantity of sleep later on. And it could also cause anxiety in some people, and also weight gain, because it increases the stress hormone cortisol. And when we're stressed, we tend to eat more. <laughs>
some quick breakfast that will fuel you in the morning before school, get you going. Um, so breakfast comes from the word breaking the fast. You're breaking the fast overnight when you're not eating. And it's important to get a balanced plate here. So in the morning you can have whole grain toast. Remember what I was saying about the fibre and B vitamins um, with a banana. But to add some protein, you can add some nut butters to that and healthy fats. In the morning, you can have porridge, get the kind of big jumbo oats that takes longer to digest, but keep you fuller for longer. And again, you can add fruit, you can add yogurt for protein. If you don't have a nut allergy, you can add some nuts, almonds, great for vitamin E, or even a savoury porridge like an avocado. Again, whole grain cereal, don't get the sugary cocoa pops or <laughs> whatever. You get some good quality cereal, um, and also rye bread is great, which you can add some salmon to get your oily fish for the week. So, going back to what I was saying about carbohydrates and the quality of carbohydrates, the red line shows what you have if you have kind of cakes or white bread, um, no biscuits, your blood sugar goes up and then insulin, because of the blood glucose, insulin takes the blood glucose out of the blood and you get this big drop and then you get really like tired and then you go to the slump and then you reach for another biscuit and then your blood goes back up again. So how do we stabilise it? Well, if you look at the green line, that's what you get if you have kind of whole grains, fruit and vegetables, um, like fibrous foods, um, but you know, white bread and comes in its place, maybe for an athlete and you want some like, quick, easy energy to digest, you can have like a white bread sandwich or something, um, but yeah, this is just to show you what it does to blood sugar. Gut health. Um, so I went to Yakult, a conference with Yakult, and they taught me about gut health in more detail. Interestingly, the happy hormone serotonin, 90% of it is produced in our gut. It's so important to look after our gut, and I'll tell you how to do that. Furthermore, 70% of the immune cells are located in the gut. So if we look after our gut, we'll be happy and we'll also um, have a stronger immunity. So the probiotics, I find this quite confusing, so I thought I'll clarify this. We've got probiotics and we've got prebiotics. Probiotics is the actual live microorganisms, and prebiotics is the foods that are fibrous that um, promote the good bacteria. But not all fibrous foods are prebiotic. So prebiotic foods are like onion, asparagus, leeks, banana, pear, and kale. 